Hello everyone, this is Talha Rehan Ansari from Informatica Advanced Product Support. In this session we would be talking about file descriptors and how to do basic troubleshooting with information about file descriptors. So agenda for this session would be an overview of file descriptors. Then we'll see LSOF command to get information on file descriptors on Linux. We'll stick to Linux for this session. After getting hands-on experience with commands, we'll have a demonstration to troubleshoot a hanging session in Power Center with LSOF command on Linux. A file descriptor. A file descriptor is an abstract indicator for accessing a file. It is an integer and is an index for an entry in kernel resident array data structure that contains details of open files on that operating system. Any process that intends to access a file, it passes the file descriptor to the kernel through a system call and then kernel in turn accesses the file on behalf of the process. The process itself does not read or write the file descriptor directly. A file descriptor, it can refer to a regular file, it can refer to a directory, it can also refer to Unix domain sockets named pipes anonymous pipes, network sockets, etc. Now we'll see a utility called LSOF on Linux that can be used to get details of open file system on a machine. LSOF has many options which can be used to get numerous details of open file descriptors on that machine. So we'll use LSOF to get some more information and also, we can get file descriptor related information from slash proc file system on Linux, but LSOF command gives much more details than what we get from slash proc file system. We'll see how we can use LSOF command to troubleshoot our issues for an isolation level. So, we'll just we now we'll see an example of LSOF command on a process which would list the file descriptor details of that process. Here I have an LSOF command which I would run on a process. This is the process ID of a PM server process which is nothing but a process for integration service. Now here we have a file descriptor details which we got from LSOF output for this particular process. Here we can see a couple of entries like here we have some of type M MEM and then some are REG DL we'll, we'll just see what 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 we can infer from else output here we are we have the specific columns in the output so here it lists the command name of the process it will give the process ID, the user that is running and one column is FT type of that file descriptor device, size and node name which is nothing but inode that is associated with that file and name of that file. Now we'll see this CWD represents current working directory and we have this text file and then MEM uh, represents to a file that is mapped in memory and after that we have some numbers here associated with some file descriptors so these numbers are nothing but file descriptor numbers which are opened by this process the 0, 1, 2 are standard file descriptors and 0 stands for standard input 1 is standard output and 2 is standard error and others can be any file descriptor that a process can open so here you can see this file descriptor number 3 is actually an IPv4 TCP connection. So having said that now we, we know pretty much like what all are the information we can derive. Also we can get file descriptor lists for a particular user. We have to use hyphen u option for that example I'll give my username so it would list all the file descriptors that is opened by me they are pretty much 
so now we'll move on to our demonstration where say I have one session I'll just start it now what I observe here is that session is actually hanging so because I don't see any 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 progress here in the source target statistics now I'll check from this from the log what what does it say about the session I can see here that it's saying reading, reading data from input source file and name of the file now I'll go at the back end and see what PMDTM process is actually doing in terms of file descriptors so here I have PMDTM process also we can drag the PMDTM process ID using the log so now I can see from workflow log that PMDTM process ID is here now I'll go to the backend and I'll run else of command on this process well now from this output I can see that it has a flat dot out file open which I know that it's a file from which it is trying to which it is trying to write and then we can see that it has one file descriptor to a log file it has one file descriptor to a bad file also it has a file descriptor to the file that was mentioned in the log now from this output we can see that it's a pipe actually it's FIF oh, first in first out it's nothing but a pipe in Unix system so now we'll see some more details about this pipe here okay so we can use else of command to list the, the processes which are actually accessing that file so here I can see the some more information about the processes here I see that this is a PMDTM process which I am running which pause enter is running and I also see that the cat has opened this same file in write mode so now I have some isolation that hey probably this is a pipe and someone has opened it to write and my process is waiting to read from that so unless and until this pipe is closed from this end my process won't exit and here I think yes I have it I have opened a, a pipe and I am writing into it so suppose here I write some data now I'll close this pipe now my my session should actually complete see now we can see the useful debugging which which we can do from else of and file descriptor details so this is pretty much for this session thanks a lot and you can send your feedbacks to our website or you can just tweet about us